Alright, welcome back. Uh, I'm just going to call this episode 15, I guess. But um, I finally figured out what the problem was, uh, why it was giving me the error. Um, so let me just show you what was going on. So it was giving me this error on line 75 for no apparent reason. And sometimes compilers do that. They like to um, screw you over and give you weird line numbers you weren't expecting. Um, let me just show you one thing I added that didn't fix the problem, but that did fix a bug. Um, in this if statement, in the uh, dig layer uh, function, I added um, and i is smaller than lines, which means that if you are digging your last line, your very last one, um, then you won't do the turn and move forward to go to the next line, because um, you'll create a weird little hole in your quarry, which you know, doesn't really belong there, if you want to keep it nice and square. Uh, and the else became an else if i is smaller than lines, then so only if you're not on your last line, then you move to your side and go to the next line. And if you're on your last line, you don't have to go to the next line, because it's your last line. Um, one thing... Oh yeah, I'll get to where, what fixed the issue now. Um, so in our code, all the way at the bottom, we had dig quarry and then a bunch of coordinates um, you know, to let them know where we want the quarry. But I'd forgotten to add the variables or the parameters in the function definition. So the function looked like this. It was empty. Um, and yeah, I was trying to put a bunch of uh, numbers in it. So that's not possible. Didn't like that. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add x quarry, z quarry, and y quarry here to make sure that um, we <laughs> are able to input coordinates in our dig quarry function. Right. And there's one more thing. Um, that I forgot to add, I thought of just now, is in the dig layer, when we're done, so let's say after the for loop we've dug our lines, and we're going to dig to the next layer, we actually have to go to the next layer. Um, so to do that, um, I think the easiest way, rather than starting at the end where you you, know, you don't really know which direction you're looking and it's complicated, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, and then what we want to do is go to the start of our quarry really. Um, we need the coordinates for our quarry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, some more variables that store the location of our quarry for us so that we can access them um, no matter what function we're in. So I'm going to call it x quarry, um, z quarry, y quarry. There we go. And uh, I guess Hmm. Don't know what value to give them standard. <laughs> I guess I'll just put them somewhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, just gonna make sure that before you dig a quarry you actually give it a value to go to. Uh, nine. And we'll give it uh y um let's say hundred and fifty. Um, just to make sure that if you do accidentally start it without setting those, um, you don't dig through random buildings, but you're in the middle of the sky somewhere. And if you're lucky, there isn't a skyscraper there that you won't demolish anything. Right. Um, so, when we get these inputs um, from dig quarry, we need to save them in that in those variables, really. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go x quarry. Um, I guess this we'll just call x, z, and y. Doesn't really matter. Nope. Z. And y. Actually, I was, using, I was using targets a lot in the other ones. So let's keep that consistent. There's my Mr. Indecision going here. Target. Alright. Fine. x quarry is equal to x target. Um, uh, z quarry is equal to z target and y quarry is equal to y target. Okay. So then we're going to be going to the x quarry and the x target, blah, blah, blah. So that's all correct. Yes. So now. Um, when we finished a layer, we want to go back to the start um, of the next layer, which is going to be the same 
x and z as the x or as the start of the quarry because it's going to be you know below the start of the quarry. So the y is going to be different. So we're going to have to go um, to just your regular y chord that you're at now because you just finished your layer. So you're on a certain y, and all you need to do is go to the start of the quarry, but on the same y that you're at. Um, so you can just use your current y coordinate. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look north again because that's going to be our starting position and then we can uh, move down and we will be looking the right direction and we'll be on the next layer and we can continue digging again we'll dig our next layer perfect right I hope that wasn't too quick um, otherwise just look at the video again I guess so let's try this. Quarry, go. Oh, no errors. I love that. Um, I got rid of all the. Oh, there he comes. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't know how far he's gonna go. Oh, that far, I guess. There we go. He's starting the quarry now. He was only going to the location, so digging those blocks wasn't actually part of the whole quarry digging process. Just getting there. All right. So he's gonna go up and down, up and down. Um, to wait for a while for him to finish one layer and see if it works. Should have made uh, the number of layers a little bit less than 10 maybe, but no matter. We've got time. Uh. So yeah, <laughs> waiting for this to happen. So you may know that the um, the new version or the new update for Computer Craft came out a while back, or a while back, a couple of weeks ago. Um, 1.4 and adds a bunch of new features for uh, turtles like putting stuff in chests and crafting stuff with a turtle and all that kind of stuff pretty cool uh, oh look he's going back to the next layer now let's see if this works so I look north go down dig next layer there we go so yeah, sadly though um, tech it guys did not add uh, the new computer craft to um, tech it uh, so I'm not actually using the new version yet I've never actually used it before, because um, I couldn't be bothered to install it myself. Um, so yeah, sadly, I'm not going to be able to do videos on that just yet, um, but everything we're doing now is completely 100% applicable to the new version, um, so you know, it's all fine really. Uh, it's just that we, at the moment we can't do the whole putting stuff in chests with your turtle, but I've got a solution for that using other Tekkit stuff. Uh, We'll get to that uh, later. So yeah, look, our quarry is working, it seems. It's awesome. Uh, so we have one quarrying robot. It'll do a 10 by 10 patch, go all the way down to Y6, and then it'll go back to his starting position when he's done. Now, one thing that he doesn't do is drop off his shit. Uh, I shouldn't be swearing as much, maybe. He doesn't drop off his uh, blocks or his stuff that he's uh, gathered doing the quarry. And once his inventory is full, he'll just start dropping stuff on the ground. Um, which is a bit of a shame, a bit of a waste of materials, you know, because if you're going to do the quarrying anyway, you want to have the materials, right? Otherwise, there's no point. Um, so what we're going to be doing uh, next episode is making sure that when the turtle is full, his inventory is full, he'll go back to some place where there's a chest waiting for him. I'll show you my setup over here. Um, so we'll come back here, uh, dump all this stuff in the water, and the water will bring uh, the items towards this chest here. And this is a special chest. It's an alchemical chest, and it has a black hole band in it, which is a special ring that attracts uh, items into it. So if you have floating items here, they get sucked into the uh, the chest normally. For some reason, it's not working. That's interesting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me try that again. <laughs> Why isn't it working? That's that's weird. That's not supposed to be happening. Oh, here we go. I guess I have to take it out and put it back in again. Right, so you drop them in and they get sucked into the chest. There you go. There's the five wooden planks. Um, so that's how I gathered the items from the uh, the turtles because uh, I didn't have 1.4. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that next episode, making sure that they go. the turtle goes back to that position and then when he's dropped, dropped off his stuff, he'll go back to where he left off and continue mining. Um, so yeah, that will be next epi episode. Hope to see you then. Um, this guy is going to have a good time. It's going to take a while for him to get to Y6, but you know, 
doesn't matter because it's not us doing it. It's just some uh, some robot that doesn't have a conscience. So that's good or consciousness, I should say. Probably doesn't have a conscience either, but regardless. Um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this, and I hope you've managed to get a quarrying robot working yourself. And I'll see you next episode. Okay.